Hello and welcome to the Domestic Cricket Podcast, where we discuss the latest news, big stories, player movements, fixtures, results, classic matches, and of course, interviews with domestic and international cricketers. So if you're a fan of the Sheffield Shield, One Day Cup, or a cricket fan in general, you'll love this podcast. I'm your co-host, Caleb Bland, along with Sam Fitzgibbon. We hope you enjoy this episode. Well, it gives me great pleasure to welcome special guest, our first ever international guest, Zimbabwean test and one day fast bowler, Chris Mpofu. Chris, welcome to the show. Hey guys, uh, thanks for having me here in this program and it's a great pleasure and a great honor to be, you know, in this program for the first time as one of the few international players, you know, to, to come to this program and yeah, it really means a lot. So there is a proposed uh, one day tour of Australia for Zimbabwe in August of this year. Uh, it's unlikely to go ahead, but um, if it does, how much would that mean to you and uh, the uh, entire team and um, coaching staff at Zimbabwe? Yeah, in terms of uh, um, the, the tour to Australia, something that, you know, uh, keeping fingers crossed, praying hard, you know, that it happens. But, you know, we can't control the situation at the moment. We can just, you know, wait and find out on what, what happens after. You know, um, at the end of the day, I guess God is the one who, who has the final say in terms of uh, whatever is happening in the world at the moment, you know. So, but it will be my, you know, a dream come true to, to come and play an amazing team like Australia at home. And, you know, something that, you know, in my career that before I finish is something that I'm cherishing to to do. You know, my people, don't, not a lot of people know that my career started in Australia, but not as a as an international player, I I came back in 2004. Um, I was at the uh, Brisbane um, um, Cricket um, Centre of Excellence. That's where I was for for my academy. I was there for quite a, a few months. Uh, I worked with uh, Damon Fleming when I got there. That was the first time when I started. I had a few, I can say one or two years I, since I had started playing cricket. So it's the place where I started my cricket. I can say that's where I learned a lot, uh, so it will be a great pleasure for me to come back there as an international player, you know, after many, many years of <laughs> of not uh, getting there, you know, the last time I missed out on the World Cup in Australia, which is something that I really always say, you know, I it's, a, it's something that I really cry to, to, to do and, you know, get a, a chance to play that side. So, yeah, it's something that I'll, I'll definitely, definitely be really humbled to, to do and, um, yeah. Now you've obviously played at plenty of grounds in Zimbabwe, but which would be um, the ground that you uh, enjoy playing at the most? Whether it's where you've been relatively successful or the most fanfare, where's your favourite ground uh, in Zimbabwe? Uh, the favourite ground, the favourite ground definitely it is uh, it should be for me. It's a uh, Harare Sports Club. Um, um, I know I'm from Bulawayo, that's my, my, my home ground is Bulawayo Sports Club, but I always enjoy playing at uh, RS Sports Club, you know, maybe because I've got a better fan base, <laughs> surprisingly, away from home, and yeah, but I, I, I still love RS Sports Club more, yeah, I enjoyed it, I've, I've had a, quite a good success there, I've enjoyed it more, more than uh, uh, Bulawayo Sports Club. Now it's coming up to uh, roughly a year when uh, the ICC announced that the Zimbabwe Cricket Board uh, cricket organisation had been banned from participating in ICC events, which uh, also hindered uh, your chances of qualifying for the 2020 T20 World Cup in Australia. Uh, how much did that uh, affect you and the entire team? Coming to the question of being banned uh, by the ICC, yeah, it was really hard, a, a tough pill to swallow, I can say, you know, we we got told um, that we're going to stop until the verdict comes out on whether we continue being in the in the top elite of, of, of international players playing the test cricket and one day as then for, for me as a player it really had a big effect uh, mentally, you know, emotionally really affected me, you know, and I believe it's the same thing to other players, the other technical staff and everyone who loves the game in our country. So it really touched a lot, it really affected a lot, you know, and I thank God at the end the verdict came and, you know, we we managed to, to get back to our to our playing ways again once again. So yeah, it really did play a lot, but like I said, we thank God that he intervened and we managed to play once again. 
Being an international cricketer, you've had the chance to experience many nations across the world to play cricket at and to travel to, whether it's uh, been playing uh, international cricket for Zimbabwe or in various uh, T20 leagues that you've participated in uh, around the world. What would be your favourite place that you've visited uh, as a cricketer? Uh, favourite favorite ground in the world <laughs> and favourite place, I can say. Uh, definitely for me, it's always the... The West Indies, I think every ground that I've played there is it's absolutely electric, it's amazing, the fans buzzing there, it's uh, something that I've, I've always enjoyed, you know, not only playing there, but you know, travelling around the, the, the whole Caribbean, it's, it's always amazing, playing it um, in Barbados was one of the most amazing places for me and, you know, I enjoyed every second when I played there, so, yeah, it's one of my, my favourite places in the world and, I wouldn't trade it for, for nothing, you know. I always uh, cherish and love, you know, playing in the in the Caribbean. The some place that I ra- really love the most. You've had the chance to play against some of the uh, best uh, players the world has ever seen, um, including the likes of Virat Kohli, Ab De Villiers, Jax Callis. Who would be uh, the best player you've ever played against uh, in international cricket? most uh, amazing player that I've played against uh, <laughs> so as a bowler you always got a few of them but you know I should think it's definitely it's gotta be you know Vera Kohli when it comes to you know all formats for me I think he's really incredible you know when you've got a player who averages 15 all three formats you, you can't be <laughs> looking for any other players around you know so for me you know playing against such a player it's always been uh, an amazing, amazing experience for me, and you know, it gives you challenge everything every time you, you bowl. You know, as a bowler, you, for me, he's the most challenging uh, player ever. Well, Chris, it was fantastic talking to you today. Um, it's uh, unbelievable that uh, we got the chance to speak to a cricketer of your calibre, an international fast bowler, and it was fantastic talking to you, mate. Uh, so, thank you for uh, joining us on the Domestic Group podcast. And I wish you all the best and hopefully I'll get the opportunity uh, to meet you if the uh, Australian uh, One Day Tour goes ahead in August. Yeah, it was my pleasure. Thanks for, you know, uh, to you guys for, for having me here once again. You know, I had a good chat. I really enjoyed Hopefully I'll be back once again to, to the back at spot and uh, to, to chat once again and hopefully to, to see each other in the near future. Thanks very much, guys, for having me. And uh, all the best uh, as you as a as a as a, as a podcast going on forward. Uh, I wish you all the best. Cheers.